What is the real dynamic measurement technology? There are two technologies on the current market, one is static measurement technology, another is dynamic measurement technology. Static measurement technology is to capture the target position by cameras, and replace the position parameters of the wheel by measuring the coordinate parameters of the target. The prerequisite is to ensure that the center of the target is consistent with the center of the tire, and that the target, wheel clamp and rim are not deformed. Its effective measurement life is short, usually is about 6 months. After 6 months, the wheel alignment becomes from a measuring device to a display tool. For dynamic measurement technology, the pushing measurement is used to simulate the state of wheel rolling to obtain real-time data of wheel dynamic for digital model regeneration, which can effectively correct and fit errors caused by deformation of the rim, wheel clamp and target. Through digital model regeneration technology, it is not affected by mechanical deformation. Continues to maintain extremely high measurement accuracy, with an effective measurement life of more than 15 years. For static measurement technology, after one year of use, as the deformation of the target and wheel clamp, the data accuracy will decrease quickly. For dynamic measurement technology, its accurate measurement lasting more than 15 years, achieving real low-cost use benefits. How to distinguish static measurement technology from dynamic measurement technology in a simple way? Method 1 is the horizontal and vertical clamping comparison method. After you clamp the rim vertically and horizontally, if the difference between the data of the vertical clamping and the horizontal clamping is greater than 0.07, it is a static measurement technology. Otherwise, it is a dynamic measurement technology. Method 2 is the suspended clamping comparison method. After you use the bottom suspension clamping way and the top suspension clamping way, if the difference between the data of these two clamping ways is greater than 0.07, it is a static measurement technology. Otherwise, it is a dynamic measurement technology. Actually, touchless wheel alignment is not just changing the wheel clamp. Let's watch the test video between static measurement technology and dynamic measurement technology. At first, we use the wrong clamping method in static measurement technology, then get bad data. Under the wrong clamping method, we use dynamic measurement technology and do the runout, then get better data. Now that we use the correct clamping method in dynamic measurement technology, any data just has a little difference from the last measurement. Let's see the data comparison. Under the wrong clamping method, dynamic technology can get better data because it can compensate for the deformation of the clamp and target and make sure the measurement data is closer to the actual data. This shows us the powerful advantages of dynamic technology. Let's learn more about the advantages of dynamic technology, and it has following advantages. No fear of deformation of clamps, targets, and rims. High accuracy can be maintained after long-term use more than 15 years. Highly accurate measurement results, and no need to rely on the on-road test for repeated adjustments. Reduce the possibility of accidents caused by testing. Achieve 30 minutes of quick measurement and adjustment, reducing customers' waiting time. Accurate measurement results are guaranteed without strict operations, reducing operational errors.